Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Great Lakes Lacquer Jackson and Maniology MXM076. I'm starting off with IMK Peel Ease as my base coat and this is Jackson by Great Lakes Lacquer. It's a gray with a ton of shimmer. It's very pretty. So we're going to go in with our first coat. I have to tell you the formula on this one was amazing. Love the brush. You guys know how I am about them brushes. I'm going to cap my free edge here. And we'll let that dry down. And here we go with our second coat of Jackson. Be real careful, even though this is not a messy polish. I still don't want to have to do any cleanup, you know, if I don't have to. <laughs> All right. Two coats, and we're going to top it with INMs out the door. Going to get this one to dry down so we can do some stamping today. I love all the shimmers in this. So pretty. There we go, capping that free edge again. I got a little bit of a mess, but it's clear. Hi, Woody, how you doing? So there we go. Got one more swipe. Perfect. There's my swatch photo. Here we go with Maniology MXM076, and I'm going to use the Wizard of Oz images. I'm going to be stamping them out with On the Black by Bases Loaded Lacquer. I got out a bunch of stampers. We're going to get that blue film off of this stamping plate and give it a quick wipe down with some acetone and a paper towel. And here we go. We're just going to plop these images out onto some stampers. Now, I don't, you know, I don't know, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know if the, um, I, okay, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, I don't know. I don't know what it was about this manicure that made it not my favorite, might have been my technique or, or just me, but, you know, I ended up wearing it for a week, so I couldn't have hated it that much, right? So we are going to plop these images out, and we're going to fill them in with some um, Oz-inspired polishes for the most part. And this is just says Wizard of Oz. I won't be filling, I don't think, anything in on that one, but we will be using it. Going to get some of that extra up with my masking tape. I am going to clean this plate with pure acetone real quick. Get it all nice and clean before we put it away. Having trouble with my cotton claw. Holding on to that cotton swab. Just get everything all tidied up. This is China Glaze, the Tin Man. Beautiful silver polish. Um, and I'm just going in with the dotting tool and filling the image in. I'm not going crazy trying to do like different colors or anything on, on this one. Just straight up. Just straight up covering it in with the silver. The Tin Man. Wizard of Oz is, by the way, like probably my all-time favorite movie. It just held so much nostalgia for me. And I just love it. So, I was really looking forward to doing this manicure. You know, maybe I was in too much of a rush. I don't know. I don't know what the deal was. You just... And it's not bad. I'm not telling y'all that it's bad. Just not my favorite. And you guys know, love me some Ruby Pumps by China Glaze. This is like my fifth bottle of this stuff. I decided to change to my Maniology brush. My little detail brush for doing her shoes. Um, you just, uh, to me, this is just magic right here. This is like my magic polish. I love this one so much. It's been a while since I've harped on it. So I figured we'll, we'll just go ahead and do that today. I do, do love this polish. It's, and for me, I think it's more stunning on short nails than on long nails as far as a full manicure. Yeah, it's true. Every time I've done it um, and my nails were shorter, I loved it. And any time I did it, like on long nails, I liked it, but not as much on my, as on my short nails. So 
There we go. We're just going to finish this one up with this part. I'm going to come back later after that dries down and color in the socks and stuff. So we'll do that in a minute. Next up we have Cowardly Lion, also by China Glaze. Beautiful mess. And we're just going to pop in here with that little detail brush and start filling in this design as well. And, I, you know, maybe I should have broke out some more polishes and not just tried to stick to the Wizard of Oz theme. And I, I should have broke out more polishes and done more advanced, you know, filling in of these images. But I figured this would work. We'll see. You know, you know it's, it's a manicure. And that's what I love about manicures is if you're really unhappy with them, which I wasn't with this one, you can take it off. Do something else. I have also broke out a bases loaded lacquer shutout to fill in the little socks for Dorothy and her beautiful ruby slippers that are all loan. <laughs> and we're going to just do those too. But I, I guess what I wanted to do with this one was I wanted to just kind of keep it simple with the colors. And I probably should have just gone crazy. Just done whatever. Whatever I wanted. And then I'm going to go in, I'm going to use that gold, not that Dorothy's legs were gold or anything, but I just figured, you know, it would kind of make the manicure a little more cohesive. I am going to go over these once they're dry with a little bit of that Wet n Wild Clear. That stuff is awesome sauce for making decals, or I'm not doing these as decals, I'm going to stamp them straight on the nail. This is Vance stamping. But I do like using that over them because that way it picks up the fine lines and the thicker stuff. It picks up everything. We're just doodling along here. And I know these videos are a little bit longer when we're doing, you know, advanced stamping and because you got to do those. And, and if they're all the same, then that shortens it up because I can just show you how to do one or two of them and then move along. But with these, they were all different. Every one of them was different. So, we'll just deal with it. Alrighty. So, here we go with the Maniology Sticky Base Coat. We're going to apply that to the nails to help these little images stick a little better. And I do like this stuff. It's right up there with the Smudge Free Top Coat. I am really, really digging it. Really enjoying it. Alrighty, now that I've got that sticky base down and we're stamping all these on, you know, like I said, I, I just do the thin coat of the um, sticky base and I do tap it down and mush it with my finger to make sure it's sitting on there good. And we just continue along. See, I just added a thin coat. You can even do like almost a dry coat with it, you know, almost a dry brush. You just need something for that stamped image, that decaled image to stick to. And you can see, I didn't stop. I didn't waste any time. I'm just going right in with it. And it does kind of smudge it a little bit, but once I do my top coat, I think that'll be just fine. It'll work out just great. And there's Dorothy's cute little red slippers. I love them. They're probably my favorites out of all of this. Alrighty, so I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and I am using pure acetone. If you prefer to use regular nail polish remover, that's fine. It does work. It just doesn't work as fast. That's why I do the acetone. Tapping across that end because there was a little bit of clear sticking off of there. Get that all tidied up. Yes, yes. There we go. I am going to top these with the Smudge Free Top Coat from Maniology. This is going to help seal those down, and I'm doing that sealing down without smudging them. Yay! Who likes to go to all this trouble and end up smudging their mani? Smearing it. Nobody. Alright, once that is dry, I'll be topping these with the Posh Top Coat. And this really finishes this one off. It gets it all plump and glossy looking. Very nice. Love it, love it. 
And I have a swatch photo of each of the decorated nails. I didn't decorate my thumb. I just painted it the color. So there's the lion. And the tin man. And then the Wizard of Oz. And then Dorothy's shoes. Next up is my swatch photo of all of them. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.